So I'm out at the farm today with an assortment of pocket guns. Uh, these pocket guns range in age from 103 years old to 5 years old. So we got some granddaddies and some itty bitty babies on the table in front of me today. Stick around. We've got a Colt 1903 pocket hammerless shooting some PMC bronze 32 auto and 71 grains. We've got a Ruger LCP. This is the second gen with the uh, not so bad trigger. And it's going to be shooting some Remington Golden Saber. Uh, I would have liked to have been shooting regular ball ammo, but this is just what I've got. So, Remington Golden Saber uh, jacketed hollow point. Uh, these are 102 grain. We've got a uh, classic, man. Jennings J22 22LR. Again, we're sticking to pocket guns. Pocket guns. I know that the LCP, they've got one of those in 22 as well, but... Just because they make them doesn't mean I have one. So this one's shooting some uh, CCI um, mini mags. And lastly, Smith & Wesson 442 J-frame shooting 158 grain federal lead uh, ammo here. 38 special. Now, all of these, you know, in their respective times are considered pocket guns. Yes, even this guy right here who, as we can see, much bigger than the LCP. Much, much bigger than the Jennings. And, yeah, longer for sure. Well, maybe not. Um, so comparable in size, other than the slide going back further, uh, to the Smith & Wesson J-frame. So we're going to shoot all of these at some splatter targets seven yards away and just see how, uh, how I shoot them. Now this dirty bird target is set up seven yards away from where I'll be firing. And you'll see we've got one for the 1903, one for the LCP, one for our Jennings, and one for our J-frame. To give you guys a view of what that looks like from where I'll be firing, yeah, this is it. This is what it looks like. So. Let's get to shooting. All right, first up, model 1903, 32 auto. Again, we're just looking at how well I shoot these guns, not really the accuracy of the guns themselves. All right, that's five out of it. Next is the LCP. Again, shooting those uh, golden sabers. Much more snappy for sure. That's five. Up next is our Jennings J-22. <laughs> Jennings J-22. <laughs> Smith & Wesson 442, 158 grain, lead round nose. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check out those targets. Hmm. Like I said, it's not the gun, it's me. Uh, so, looks like we have two on target for the 1903. Uh, some of them 
kind of decided not to play right. For the LCP, we've got, looks like four. Um, maybe the fifth one went down here, maybe it went down there. You guys will see on the other camera, I'm sure. Uh, the Jennings. Well, luckily we see for sure, one, two, three, four. Um, that one might be, but also, yeah, yeah, it's probably this one. And then our J-frame. Oh, look at there, Mr. J-frame. Not too shabby. Well, unfortunately, I didn't have the shot camera on whenever I took these first shots. So here's me going through this drill again. Um, didn't do quite as well with the LCP this time around. Still had the same problems with the Jennings this time around, though, but shot a better group with it. Well, if you learned anything today, I assure you it was not my intention to teach you anything. Uh, I was just showing you guys what I'm doing out at the farm today. Uh, just going through these guns. Again, this gun's 103 years old. Going up against a gun that was uh, manufactured in 2018, this little LCP here. Um, these, again, technically all are pocket guns. Uh, some of them I would feel a lot more comfortable in my pocket than others, for sure. And some of them are a lot more concealable in my pocket than others would be, for sure. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. If you haven't already, please subscribe and follow us on Instagram. It's at Yonder Oak, the same as the name here on the channel. I post some behind the scenes content there, photos, videos, as well as some short form content that doesn't make its way over to YouTube. Thanks for stopping by.